What is going on you guys? My name is Rage and we are back today with a 2024 Legendary Horseman update here for all of you. So in today's video, we got all the resources and guides I've made in the past summarized for your review and reference. So that way, if you guys are looking to unlock these horsemen for the first time, uh, thankfully we're getting details that these difficulties for these events is either, either going to be easier or the same uh, difficulty as before. So uh, all still relevant, which is awesome to see, but it's really going to be dictated um, based on how many stars you want to get of these horsemen and as well how high you want to be uh, achieving in your score. So let's get ready. This is going to be the preview here. So first and foremost, guys, just as a recap, if you haven't seen it already, the new scourges are coming live today. So in the epic campaigns where Dark Dimension and Apocalypse Saga is typically located, it's going to be next to it. So as you can see on this uh, screen recording here, um, the Famine and War Scourge are also added, as well as Pestilence and the Death Saga. Excuse me, the Death Scourge. So all of them are going to be available, and they're expected to run every two weeks. So we can expect to see these events ongoing until there's an update there. Now, before I show you the resources here available to get these teams ready and how to achieve certain difficulty levels and scores, guys, I want to go over some quick reminders uh, relating to this event just because if you're brand new and not understanding how this is going to work, just a quick recap here. Again, these Scourge events are going to be expecting to run every two weeks, and I believe they typically last five to six days. So uh, there's a pretty short window of time that you don't see anything happening because during that two weeks, then um, it'll be during the event and then uh, there will be one week ideally as a reset and then it'll basically restart again. Again, so there's going to be plenty of opportunities. It's whether or not you want to ca capitalize and invest in certain characters and teams to push your score even higher. But just remember, not all horsemen need to be six to seven stars max to unlock Apocalypse, right? If your goal at the end of the day is unlocking Apocalypse, uh, we've seen uh, lots of history that five stars can easily get the job done. Uh, it's more so making sure that you have theory crafting, obviously being maximized and making sure that you get through the nose respectively. But remember, uh, even after you get your five star uh, horse and all the teams leveled up you still need to bring 23 characters to gear tier 17 uh, the t2 blue 5 and level 90 uh, as these are the main bottlenecks are fully upgrading apocalypse to his max potential just something to be mindful of it's a marathon not a sprint so that's why um, these star levels should not be the main focus of these scourge events if you're especially gunning for the apocalypse unlock Personally speaking, from the past couple of videos I've made on this uh, development and update to Scourges, I strongly believe Gear Tier 15 and 16 will get the job done and get the job done as in scoring uh, to the max levels, right? This is just a friendly investment of a teaming character. If you're feeling more conservative, I believe 13 to 15 uh, is also a safe investment in terms of just making sure that you're min-maxing your resources and should be able to land you a five-star horseman um, with, with the Scourge difficulty that we're seeing. And lastly, guys, remember, if you're not a fan of building some of these requirements, required teams and well, what do i mean by required well uh, in this infographic it's pretty handy here um each of the respective saga and scourge shows you the required teams that you need to build um typically it's only one of the th required teams right so for example morgan le phase pestilence scourge um you only need either web warriors or dark hunters well web warriors are the better um a team to utilize here so those are the required teams that we're talking about you usually do need only one of them but keep in mind each uh scourge and saga we've typically found a go-to team so something to be mindful of when you are reviewing or preparing for this if you have not unlocked any of the horsemen's uh in your previous runnings um so there is other alternatives like i said um you can build a very very strong roster and then just complete the first four nodes typically first four nodes because uh typically they don't in revolve or in include a required team exception is just the minions that are required for death scourge otherwise if you have a build up a roster of the other characters they can likely get you the unlock without having to build up these um out of meta teams so just something to be mindful of it really depends on what your goal is especially if you're just trying to land a five star on the horseman that means you may potentially not even need these required teams so um, now onto my resource, guys. I wanted to point this out because this is something I've been updating um, as the events have been ongoing, but I, I made a final review today just to go through all the updated guides. So I wanted to help you guys prepare for the Scourges and as well as the Saga guides and ultimately Apocalypse when you get a chance to do so. So this is available in all of my uh, my links below in the videos. Um, typically, it's a Rage Resources Guide that links you to a spreadsheet. And if you check under the Apocalypse tab, I have finally reviewed this and, and um, refreshed all the links to the most up-to-date information so uh, we'll take a look at for example here the pestilence scourge 
uh, for Morgan Le Fay, right? We got preparation guides on how to unlock Morgan Le Fay overview if you just wanted to get a quick preview, um, as well as the best characters and teams. Um, these videos, although some of them are a little outdated, uh, still remain relevant. I double check them in terms of just some of the teams that are still in the game. Um, better teams have been released since, but overall, nothing has changed to the required team. So that's why it's valuable, especially if you want to see what the full difficulty five, six gameplay is. Uh, and then as well, um, whenever there were any issues like nodes five and 10, which are typically the required nodes, um, there's usually a game plan strategy that I made. So that way, it usually was the main bottleneck if you were trying to go through it with a set level team. And, and guys, um, keep in mind too, my teams were not even close to being the best. Um, the highest I ever brought up any team or character was gear tier 16 and was able to fully maximize the scores of many of these uh, scourges. So I, uh, that gives me confidence to say that if you follow my guides, you, you can best well min max the roster that you have. But keep in mind, gear tier 15 and 16 may be required if you're hoping to actually get the full seven yellow stars. Following the Scourge Guides, once that helps you get through it, um, there's going to be these uh, sagas that are available, right? The sagas fully awaken your legendary horsemen as well. Uh, each of these sagas need to be completed in order to actually go through uh, towards the unlock of Apocalypse. So I have all three difficulties, hard, heroic, and apocalyptic, which is the one that usually uh, includes uh, the unlock of the upgraded Apocalypse. Once that's done, all four of these, um, you know, these videos and guides will ideally guide you along the way. Um, just because there's just so much videos and guides out there on YouTube, I figure I'd just create a summary here so that way you can just click through. And again, available in my link in the description below under the apocalypse tab for my spreadsheet once this is all got done guys um you can start your way making your way through the apocalypse saga uh, going through hard and heroic which actually unlocks uh the first apocalypse being baby apocalypse unfully upgraded and once you have everything apocalyptic uh, upgraded for the saga then you can actually go through and do the final video here but again that's uh that's going to be the marathon like i mentioned earlier requiring all these sagas to be fully completed but work your way through the preparation and the scourge guides um i hope this helps you guys just again a resource that you can utilize uh, and that way you can work your way top down going through but obviously like i said if you can capitalize on shards on teams that you already have invested in um, and you don't feel like you want to build up the required teams you may, may not need to just because again um, these events are running every two weeks but we don't need the horsemen at six to seven stars if you just want to be going for the apocalypse go so hope this helps you guys this is exciting it's gonna be starting in a couple hours here but i'll keep you guys up to date if there's anything but uh, hopefully this resource it can help you guys in terms of just navigating the waters for the amount of content that's about to go live here and um yeah good luck in your guys' apocalypse unlock if you have not unlocked them thank you for following along and i'll keep you guys up to date thank you and catch you guys in the next one